Hey everybody. So today for my persuasive speech, I am going to be talking about the indoor tanning industry. And I'm going to kind of be explaining how not only is the indoor tanning industry growing in popularity, but due to that, uh, there's actually a little bit behind it that the indoor tanning industry is becoming a beneficial alternative to natural sunlight. A lot of people don't really understand, you know, all oh, skin cancer and this and that. I'm going to get to all that, but I am going to let you know about how this does benefit your health. So I'm going to offer three main points today. I'm going to discuss how the indoor tanning provides multiple health benefits how the different products that you use with the indoor tanning beds are actually extremely beneficial, and the variety of tanning options that allows you to have more of a controlled tan versus going to the beach and exposing yourself to natural sunlight. So let me begin with my first point. Indoor tanning does provide multiple benefits. Um, UVB rays are an excellent source of vitamin C. So UVB rays are pretty much the equivalent of like the natural sunlight. Natural sunlight is mostly UVB. We like to call these reddening rays um, because that's basically what they do. When you go in the sun for too long, you burn, right? So tanning salons, tanning beds, use UVA and UVB. So the UVB rays are the reddening rays and UVA rays are bronzing rays, which I'll get to in a minute. So appropriate exposure to UVB rays does actually provide your body with adequate amounts of vitamin C. Um, doctors have started actually prescribing tanning in a tanning bed to people who might suffer from vitamin C deficiencies or just you, know, you need more vitamin C in your diet, whatever it may be, skin conditions, more vitamin C, the more of that UVB ray actually helps clear up skin conditions as well. Um, eczema, psoriasis, Little skin diseases like that actually clear up incredibly well when you tan in a tanning bed. I myself suffer from a lot of eczema, um, and during my time being pregnant <laughs> and not necessarily being able to tan, um, it's definitely you know flared up a lot more. So it really goes to show you that, wow, when you're tanning, it really does go away because I have not been and it's been full force. Um, it also helps your blood circulation. So when you're laying down and you're getting the heat and the UVB rays and all of those things, it actually increases your circulation. So it can help with a lot of like varicose veins, um, you know, bulging veins, anything like that. It, it really does help your circulation. I was a gymnast for so long, so my legs don't get as great of circulation as the rest of my body. Um, but when I, when I tan a lot, that goes away. I start having the more smooth skin look because I don't have all those veins or anything. So the ultraviolet light from tanning bed does provide a lot of health benefits, but so do the products that you use. A lot of products that indoor tanning beds need, like for your body, they provide a lot of benefits. Appropriate tanning lotions actually contain multiple ingredients that provide skin benefits. So I actually have a couple of my favorite tanning lotions here. And if you ever go tanning in an indoor tanning salon, you ha you like absolutely need to use a tanning lotion. Um, listen to the people that are in there, seriously. They know what they're talking about. Working in the tanning industry as long as I did and have, you learn so much that you never really thought was even applicable. And it really teaches you that when you go in there and you're listening to these people babble on and on about, oh, this lotion and this lotion, listen to what they're saying because they're being honest. Do not tan without a tanning lotion in a tanning bed. We're saying that because these help you. Just like sunscreen, you know, helps you to prevent from getting burned and things like that in the natural sun. When you're in a tanning bed, you're in that controlled environment, use something that's going to benefit your skin while you're in there. So a lot of these lotions, both of these for instance, contain Matrixyl Scent 6, which is equivalent to, we like to call it Botox in a bottle. It helps tighten and firm fine lines and wrinkles. Um, while you're in the tanning bed, it uses the ultraviolet light to do that. Blush formulas, which I actually don't have one right here, but I use them a lot. 
they help with that microcirculation I was talking about, um, which is good for your blood flow. They're formulated to protect the skin from becoming damaged if you use them appropriately. I'm not saying that I'm guaranteeing, oh, you're not going to burn, you're not going to do this. You need to know your skin, but know the products that work for your skin. So for me, these products are, are best for my skin. Um, things that are aloe based and don't have water in them. A lot of tan lotions have water and that's not good for your skin. It dries your skin out and that's going to make you burn faster. Use lotions that have aloe in them because if they have aloe, your skin's going to stay more moisturized while you're tanning. So it's going to ultimately help your skin in the long run. So now that we understand the benefits of tanning beds and tanning lotions, products and all that, there are also multiple tanning options so that everyone can have a different customized tan and tanning experience. So this brings me to my final point. Like I was talking about earlier, there is a choice between UVB and UVA rays. The UVB rays are more like the reddening rays. They're more resemble natural sunlight. They provide that sun-kissed pinkish glow. The UVA rays are more like a bronzing ray. They give you that brown tone and are less likely to burn. They still can, but they're less likely to burn than UVB. I like to say that UVB rays are more like a microwave type of deal you know it's not really gonna it's cooking from the inside out whereas UVA rays are kind of just like top of the skin um, so combinations of both allow you to look like you just tan on the beach have that sun-kissed glow but you're less likely to burn because you're having more of that UVA ray in there not just straight natural harsh sunlight that you can't really control the amount you receive. You're constantly applying the sunscreen and you're, you're not understanding the damage it's doing to your body because being out in the sunlight, that pure harsh sunlight for half an hour doesn't compare to a tanning bed. Um, and you don't have to tan in a bed either is what's great. There are also sunless tanning options as well. So for those of you who want to protect your skin completely, not expose it to any kind of harsh ray or anything, there are sunless tanning. Spray tans. People get freaked out about spray tans all the time. Let me be the first to tell you that they have come a long way. Don't worry about being orange or being raw off of friends and having a four on the front and a two on the back. It's nothing like that anymore. Um, spray tanning is definitely evolved and it's become actually one of my favorite ways to get a tan. I love spray tanning. I'll even spray tan while I'm, you know, if I'm also bed tanning as well. You can combine them. And usually the spray tan boosts these days are actually formulated with aloe or some alternate moisturizer so that it really benefits your skin as well, not just some stuff you know seeping into your skin. So in conclusion, indoor tanning has come a long way and most certainly grown in benefits. So if you ever head into a tanning salon to begin your quest for that perfect tan, just know you're not only having a good time, but you're also potentially helping yourself and your skin. But if of course you make sure to always be smart and be careful. You no one can fully prevent sunburn except yourself. You know what causes your body to burn. You know your skin. I know my skin. There's things that, there's beds that I do or times that I do and Stuff like that that other people don't do because it would burn them, but it doesn't burn me. So you just have to know your skin. You have to understand what's going to burn you. Everyone's skin is different. The sun only provides one level of tanning, and it's so easy to overdo it. But tanning beds allow you to completely customize and control your tan so you can ensure your satisfaction. So there are a lot of benefits. So stay safe, enjoy the tanning, and don't be scared of tanning beds because they're actually there to help you. Of course, overexposure to ultraviolet light has been shown to cause skin cancer. Please be smart maintaining and know how to protect your skin and know yourself. Thank you.